What's up, babes? And welcome back to my channel. As y'all can tell in the title today, we are going to be doing some major back to school shopping. And one might ask, Shay, why are you doing back to school shopping when you're like 100 years old? That's a very good question. Because like, why am I doing back to school shopping? Well, as some of you might know, I'm a middle school teacher, so you know, I gotta prepare for the year. And then also, your girl is going back to school. Ah! I am gonna be getting my master's this year, y'all. Like what? Masters? <laughs> Yes, I'm getting my master's this year, so like I'm just gonna be getting a few things for that as well. So I'm on the way to Target, and your girl is putting herself on a budget. Like I'm doing some like reverse psychological mindset things right now, and we're gonna say that we're going to Target so we don't spend that much money. Like what? In what way does that make sense? I'm not gonna go to Walmart, H-E-B, because. At Walmart, everything's cheaper. At HEB, everything's cheaper. I'm just gonna be throwing stuff in my bag. Now, when I go to Target, everything is so expensive. So that means that I'm not just gonna be throwing stuff. I'm gonna be actually looking at the price tags. Okay, so that's why we're going to Target today. I'm just picking up a few things, some planners. I'm getting some new mechanical pencils because, like, my students just literally steal all of my stuff. I will see you guys when I hit Target. <sighs> Like, I want like a full size journal planner. Like, something like this.
that top because why not? As the devil's toenails outside right now so you guys I'm back in the car I turned off the camera without actually like finishing what I was getting because I honestly got to the counter and I was like oh crap I forgot to get LED lights I forgot to get the books like so I spent less than $200 today which is like super good in hindsight at Target you know I can go up here and spend 300 bucks so we did kind of good like I was putting stuff back and there was a few things where I was like okay I'll just get this at HB. like I'll just get this at Walmart like the LED lights please I'm not finna pay a hundred bucks for no dang LED lights that's gonna stop working within a year like no I'd rather pay like 20 bucks for them at Walmart so that's what we're gonna do I'll just get those from Walmart I'll get some like book markers from like amazon um because i ended up putting some back too i think i did good today okay i will do like a little haul for y'all when i get back to the crib yeah so i'll see y'all in a second let me show y'all what song i've been on for like the past <laughs> few days oh my gosh this is like my favorite song right now it's for a while actually like ever actually my favorite song ever yeah yeah <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm back at my house. Then I was doing like one in my room. We're gonna do it in the car. So this is everything that I got from Tarjay. And do I need all of this stuff? Yes, I do. Okay, so starting off in this first bag, I got the, if you're watching the entire video, I got a new planner and it was between this one and like another one that I would just consider to say Black Girl Magic. Like it don't say that, but it the artwork on it was so beautiful and i just thought black girl magic but i ended up getting this one just because like i wanted it to be like a journal style planner and it's a full like full full decked out planner i also got two books okay like like i said target is so expensive that means them books are expensive like i wasn't buying all those books for like more than ten dollars most of them was like fifteen dollars twenty these two were like 20 so i just decided to only get these two and i wasn't even going there going to get like a book like this and this is tasha cobbs do it anyway like i wasn't even expecting to get this type of book but like it just set in my heart to get it and then i have this vibes good life and then it says how self-love is the key to unlocking greatness can't wait to read this because y'all know i've been on this type of journey I got some tape. I also got whiteboard cleaner. And this is something that I never have in my classroom as well. I always have to borrow it. For me to be a big girl and buy this finally is growth and it speaks numbers. Now, this might be a very much unnecessary buy, but nonetheless, it made sense to me in the store. And this is just a laptop holder. Where am I gonna put this? Like, am I gonna put it in my room, at my house? Or am I gonna put it in my classroom? I have no idea. It may sense for me to buy this so and so i also got some like thick sharpies because this is something that i did not have last year and like i had to borrow these as well in the type of class that i teach like we do a lot of like little projects where we use markers and stuff like that and i just didn't have any of these so that's why i bought some of these i got a little stapler just handheld just you know for something quick i got some colored pencils i put some colored pencils in my amazon storefront or in my amazon shopping list like school supply shopping list and nobody has bought them yet so i just took it up on myself to go buy some colored pencils and then i also bought some but i know this is the paper that you use for like laminations and so i do a lot of that so this is why i got this paper i got this big like you know cardboard type paper just 
to write my rules on for my classroom that is something that I have in my classroom but like it's not like big where you can see it so that is something that I wanted to try to do this year to make it known like the rules of the classroom because like I have them I just you just can't really see them unless you know where they are that's really it for this school supplies back to school school supplies um video and in a few weeks your girl is going to be doing a back to school clothing haul and that's gonna include like shoes um some like essentials that i'm gonna be needing for the school year like clothes shein fashion over just little stuff like that okay and yes even though i'm an adult i treat going back to school the same as i did when i was a kid so that is it for this video you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to share this video and don't forget to comment down below what you guys think of this video and that is it and i'll see you guys in my next one peace